Well, hi everyone, you're here with another LEGO Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars one. And this time it is on the uh, Final Duel 1 and 2 from 2002. So on the front of each booklet, you see a picture of the main set that there is, ages uh, 6 through 12, and the set numbers and the names. And on the back of each one is Ashford Twin Pod Cloud Card, which I will also be reviewing, and Ewok Attack Set, which I previously reviewed, and for Bolt Sets together, and uh, Jedi Defense 1 and 2. And then the last steps. So now, on to the main big select. First of all, for Jedi Defense 1, is Darth Vader. And this is the same version that they've been using since 1999. Like, but also, and of course also reprinted in the 20th Anniversary ones. Like, Chrome lightsaber, of course. And uh, the back, of course, over. And then on to the face print, the one. Also, same as from the 20th anniversary one last year. Hang on a sec. There we go. So let's print it around. And of course. And next of which is Emperor Palpatine. But in the old time style that they used for a, a long time. But with the black rod, lightsaber rod acting as a king, and sorry that the cape's kind of damaged because it's something with the set that you'll see in a minute. And then this back is a kind of interesting face print of it, similar to Snoke's M Supreme Leader Snoke and all. And then first for Jedi Defense 2 is Jedi Knight version Luke Skywalker. Kind of similar to the one that was used in the 2000 Desert Skiff set. Like with the same chrome lightsaber and everything. There's no back torso print and usual hair piece used until now. And of course, the same face print as many versions did. And next up is probably the first time of having an Imperial officer included in a set. But the torso printing, which kind of bit holds up to modern standards, and the hat, which same with like the uh, uh, the boo guard one. Then and see no back torso print or double side face, because after all, it's an older figure. And yeah. And then last up is the older time stormtrooper, but. The helmet prints of which are kind of alright for the time, but at least they improved it over time as well. And and also back torso print, so probably one of the first times of having that. And also one of the megaphone blasters, of course. And then underneath it is a plain yellow face. Which I'd be alright if modern day ones had that instead of the annoying angry clone face and all. So, if anyone from LEGO sees this video, please have this with all the Stormtroopers and all. Leave that for the Clone Troopers, of course. But aside that, uh, kind of alright uh, 
alright figure for the time, and yeah. And so now, on to the builds. First of all, for Final Duel 1, is it's supposed to be the throne of Emperor Palpatine, which kind of rotates around with a pair, and as has a, pair, a large inverted slope and regular jagged slopes. And those, like, uh, button panel pieces on the sides. And, of course, just about enough space to fit your Emperor fig into it. And, of course, kind of ruins the cape. Even though it's the older style material and all, but the rest of which is this large uh, panel piece that is mostly used from some other Tie Fighter sets, but just acting as the window of it, and a couple of one by one bricks and a plate above it to make it more complete. And get Darth Vader to the side. Also kind of suiting for him. And next, for the main build of Final Duel Part 2, which has this like archway piece that is used in some of the like recent space lines like Life on Mars and such, but, not, but at least good for mocking and also some railing used also used from that theme and from some other ones. Also good for mocking. But besides that, kind of simple with just a few various plates and a couple of 1x2 bricks underneath. And just about enough spaces to fit all your main figs onto. All of but of course, even though this does kind of suit as like any part of the Death Star, obviously, as well as with the recent UCS Death Stars, of course. And so now, on to with the final verdicts. So, final verdict on these two is overall, of which a pair of kind of cool sets for the time, at least, of being small sets with some iconic characters in them. But also, they did serve as some good parts packs, so. Which, you know, is often a good win with buying Lego and all. And well, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who missed out on these and still have access to these sets, well, good luck getting these. Like, eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thank you for being for me reaching 200 subscribers means well and that is about it with this video and thanks for watching